Right, welcome to the third lesson and the last lesson in Arts and Sectors for National 5. We're going to look at finding theta, which you remember is the angle at the centre of the sector. Now, I'm going to just give you two examples and then give you two to try. Okay, there is no theory here. You know the theory. The theory is the stuff you've worked with so far. It's all about applying it to find something different. Now, these two examples are very similar to what we looked at when we worked with volume. If you figured out how to find the volume, all our different ways. And then one of the last things we did with volume was, well, here is the volume now, work backwards to find something else. You'll notice here we're told what the arc is. Before we had to figure out what the arc was, now we're told what the arc, with arc length is, and we have to figure out what it is. So we're told that it's 15.4 centimetres, and we are looking to find theta, which is the angle at the centre of the sector. Now we're going to do it the same way as we worked with volume questions. So the first thing I want is my formula. So I'm talking about arc length. So arc length is equal to theta over 360 multiplied by pi d. Remember that arc is a little bar, part of our circumference. So we're looking for a fraction, theta over 360, of your circumference, which is pi d. Same as in volume, we need to substitute in what we know. We're told in the question that length is 15.4. So we substitute that in for there. We don't know what the angle is, so that's just going to stay as theta. And we know that the diameter, looking at the circle, well, 12 centimetres is the radius, so that diameter is 24. And very, very similar processes to what we did in volume. OK, I want to find out where that theta is. I need to get rid of everything else on that line apart from theta. So firstly, I need to cancel out a big row of timesies. So to cancel out a big row of timesies, I divide. So it's going to be 15.4 divided by pi times 24. And after we've got rid of them on the right-hand side, we're just going to be left with theta over 360. Now, we still want to get to that theta. So we're going to do, we need to get rid of that 360. So to get rid of that 360, we're dividing there. So to get rid of that 360, we need to times. So it's going to be 15.4 divided by pi times 24. And we need to times that by 360. And that's going to leave us with the theta that we are interested in. Now, forgive me, I'm going to do the rest of the working over here. If you type that into your calculator, you get a mean an answer of 73.5295 and so on. Same idea. We need to get the unrounded answer, then we need to get the rounded answer. Let's do it. See three sig figs again, 73.5 degrees. Okay, so there's your first example. Very same steps as volume, just a different formula. Get your formula written down. Okay, so step one, get your formula written down. Step two, substitute in what you know. Step three, rearrange it, and that will go down till you've got theta by itself. And step four, round and calculate. Same steps we use for volume, same steps we'll use here. Now, we've got another example to look at. This time we're given the area of the sector. So we're told what the area is, and we are looking to find that angle again. So step one, we'll get a formula done. So the sector area is a fraction, theta over 360, of the area of a circle, which is pi r squared. So there's step one. Step two, we need to substitute in what we know. So the area we're told is 18.9. We don't know what the angle is, so that's going to stay as theta. And we know from the diagram that the radius is 10. OK, step three, we need to rearrange. We want to take that and rearrange it so we're left with theta by itself. So the first thing we need to do is get rid of a big row of timesies. Doesn't matter that it's squared there, we're still multiplying by 10 squared. So we're going to divide by 18.9, eh, sorry, 18.9 divided by pi times 10 squared. And that's going to leave theta over 360. And then we need to cancel out that 360. So that's been divided at the minute. So we need to times. So it's 18.9 over pi times 10 squared, and we're multiplying by 360, so that we're left with theta by itself. And I'll finish up my working over there again. You go to your calculator, 
you type it in. Bear with me a wee second, sorry. And you'll get done rounding the answer. Theta is equal to 21.65788 and so on. And then when you round it, 21.7 degrees to three significant figures. So my step three, my rearranging carried on there. And step four is rounding, cal uh, calculating round. Okay, so steps are the same, very similar to the volume, same skills that are involved, just a similar sort of idea. Yeah. So that's your two examples for your note. This one and is two examples for you to try. Okay, be careful. Uh, that one there, this bit's your arc length. And that bit in there, because it's in there, you know that's an area of a sector. So it's wrapped up in the diagram. If you pause it just now, I'll get you the answers in a wee second. And there you go there, that's your answers. Thanks very much, give us a shout, you need a hand then.